Now let's tidy up our table a little. If we place our cursor within a table, select table using tag selector, uh, change the align to default, cell padding, cell space and border to zero. Uh, let's assign a table ID of table insert. Place your first cursor within uh, the first cell of the first column and click uh, Ctrl-T on your keyboard twice. Now replace everything with the TH and uh, the same with all, all the remaining cells within that column. We actually don't have to do it with the PG cont because we're going to remove it in just a minute. Okay, now let's apply uh, the class of FRM FLD to our text fields. That's fine. Uh, let's go to the code view. The remover likes to add some additional tag, so let's remove this paragraph tag, which has been added after the form closing form tag. We also can see there are uh, two TR tags, opening and closing one at its absolutely pointlessly. Uh, okay, let's go to uh, heading, that's fine, navigation, we've got this PG cont, so let's remove the entirety tag and add call span 2 to our text area. This way we've got this uh, link name, heading, navigation, and our s update record button on uh, on a two uh, column layout and uh, content, which is a text area, on just one uh, cell. Um, if we preview our page right now in the browser, so if we go to our content management system. Uh, to the list of pages and click on the edit button you can see we've got this error because I've forgotten to add to include our function file again so if we open login.php copy the require once with our function and paste it right after the connection and now go back and refresh so this is how our page uh, look like what our page look like at the moment in the next video, we'll focus on creating uh, the validation and sticky form fields.